good morning all of you last class we had learned about how to change the date and time settings of our computer today we'll learn about how to add new fonts to the system how to delete an existing font of the system for that first let me tell you what is the font for that whatever you uh, start typing on the screen you must have seen that you when you type different uh, types of characters are used for typing that those format of text known as fonts so how to change the settings of fonts for that first you have to go to control panel one more thing in your book it is given about windows 7 but i am uh, uh, using here windows uh, 10 so some changes can be there and if you are not getting any of the things which is which is required you can type here in the search box you will get it in which under which head it is available it will be shown to you so about fonts how to use it first you will go to control panel and under appearance and personalization you click there you will get the option of fonts here as you can see just click on that fonts here whatever fonts are there in your system will be shown like this all these are the fonts which are available if you want to start with a particular type of font you just click right click and preview option is there it will show you what type of characters will be used in this particular font style if you want to delete it from this shortcut menu you can delete it and if you want to add some new fonts to this folder this is the font folder just open the drive like suppose c drive or d drive open that drive then open that folder where the new uh, font uh, style is available and drag and drop to this folder now that new font will be available in your system okay if you want to show it to me let me uh, minimize it here suppose i am opening d drive under d drive suppose it is there so i'll open that drive first any of the font just drag and drop to this folder i don't have some new fonts here so the so i am just trying it with some other uh, folder only just to show it to you i hope it's clear to all next is when your mouse suddenly stops working how you can use the keypad of your desktop or laptop as a mouse for that what you have to do simply go to ease of access center let me show it to you so we'll come out of this can you see this ease of access this is also available under appearance and personalization just click on ease of access center here you will get the option of make the mouse easier to use hope it's visible just click on that and turn on mouse key when you will click on this and you will use the option apply what will be the impact just make the num lock key off on the keyboard and then all the keys on the keyboard can be used for uh, like four uh, number four key can be used for left six can be used for right eight can be used for top and two can be used for bottom so you need not use your uh, mouse for uh, dragging and dropping you can use the keypad so this was about how you can use the keypad as mouse if your mouse is not working that next is uh suppose you have problem with the, the keypad which you have for typing i want something on the screen for typing for that we have on screen keyboard which will also come from this part only that is ease of access center if you can see here start on screen keyboard just click on that and you will see the on screen keyboard which you can use for typing anywhere okay this was about on screen keyboard next is changing the mouse settings mouse settings like uh, the primary button which we used is uh, left mouse button and secondary is your right mouse button if you want to change the settings like the speed of double click and all should change that can also be done how just go to control panel home uh, here then hardware settings is there click on that and then you will get the option of mouse click on that you will get this mouse pointer here the different tabs are available buttons pointers pointer option wheel hardware so one by one the changes can be done like here can you see this highlighted one means the primary button is left and the secondary is right 
I want to make the reverse one. So if I click here, now you can see for all the primary options, I'll be using right one and for all the secondary option, left one. Like, right, right now, if I want to change this, na, like I'm uh, habituated of using left mouse button. If I'll click on this for removing this check sign, it won't work. Which key I'll have to press? Right key. Then only it will be removed. Next, the pointer option. One more thing. With what speed the double click works? This can also be increased or decreased. Then don't forget to click on apply once you have made all the changes. This is mandatory. You'll have to make it. Then only the settings will be applicable there. Then different kinds of pointers are there which you can apply there. Like uh, this one is the default one, normal select. Other than that, we have different kinds of pointers which can be applied there. Once you have made all the changes, just click on this apply button. Next is why to double click the mouse. We all know that whenever we have to open um, a file or folder, we double click on that. I don't want to do that. So for that, again, you will have to go to folder options. Folder options, uh, you will get here file explorer options under appearance and personalization again click on that here as you can see by default it is selected that double click to open an item i don't want to go with that i want that whenever i single click the folder it should get opened so make it to the single one now whenever you will single click on the folder it will get opened you don't need to click double click there last one here avoid pressing two keys together if i'll ask you that uh, restart your system. We know that the restarting the system, the shortcut key is Control or delete. Okay, so I uh, sometimes we are not able to we have some problem in our fingers and we couldn't press three keys together. I want that once I press one key, it should be activated for some seconds and then second key and then third. key. This is known as enabling sticky keys. This can also be made with the help of ease of access. So this option ease of access click there. Once you will click on that option, ease of access center you will get. And here, turn on sticky keys option will be there. Let me uh, search it for that. Sticky keys. Here it is. Turn on sticky keys. Can you see this? If you will click on this, you will notice that you will always, uh, you need not press all these three keys together. Once control key you will press, you leave it. You need not keep on pressing it, then alt, then delete. And this with the three keys, there will be a gap of some seconds in between. You need not press all the three keys together. It will work independently. So this was about turning on the sticky keys. Another thing is there that I want to put the system in sleep mode. I don't want to, um, I mean, uh, suppose for sometimes I don't, uh, I'm not using it. And I don't want to shut it down. In that case, basically uh, sleep is a power saving state that allows a computer to quickly resume full power operation when you start working again. So for that, again what you have to do, simply go to control panel. We are under ease of access. Again one more time back. And here we'll search for power options. Power options. It is available under appearance and personalization. Okay, power options are there. Whatever you want from here, you just choose from this option. Change battery settings, closing this. What I want is the power saver option. Is it edit power plan is there? Click on that. You will get this on battery plugged in. All the settings can be done from here. So here it is the sleep mode. When I press this power button, it should go to sleep. All these options can be activated. Hibernation also you will get here. Many modes are there in which you work. Hibernation means it is a state in which a computer shutdowns to save power but first saves everything in the memory on hard disk. When you restart the computer, your desktop is restored exactly as you left it. Then um, log off, lock, restart, all these options one by one you all can try. So this was all about this chapter. Uh, I'll send the PDF on after the class, your online class. Thank you and have a nice day.